it is the most amazing, peaceful, beautiful morning here in Egypt. And we are starting with our day four, where the rumor is that we're going to go to a extremely old monastery located nearby and delve into history. So after breakfast, we're going to get in the bus and we are going to go. And I'm inviting you to come and join us. We've been eating like crazy. It is magnificent. The food is amazing and it's just so good. And again, this morning we've got a variety of different jams and bread and oh, this is a good trip. Every morning before we start traveling, we have a meeting to discuss the previous day and our activities for this new day. Here at Anaphora, we had this amazing room with the carpets that are handmade by the locals. The team wanted to buy some gift and clothing items before we left Anaphora. So naturally, we had to make time for this and to support the people of Anaphora with all the amazing items on sale. traveled in a couple of different vehicles um, I have to confess this one might just be my favorite hey Chris yes did you ever thought you'd be driving a taxi in Egypt like this. Yes. Not not yes. quite like, like this. this. And not quite now. Okay. There? Okay. There? Okay. This is awesome. <laughs> Love it. Our journey towards Alexandria continues to a very old monastery and then Agape Center, the place we will be staying for the next two nights. The monastery at St. Pizoi in Wadi El Natran is the most famous monastery of the Coptic Orthodox Church of Alexandria. It is founded by Al Anba Bisoy, who was born in the Egypt Nile Delta in 320 AD. In the 5th century, the Emperor Zenon built a fortress around the monastery to protect the monks from attacks by the Berbers. The monastery's gateway has an inner gatehouse and tower, and it is the most complete and best preserved gateway in Wadi al Natran. During one of these attacks, the Berbers killed 94 monks at the monastery of St. Macarius and washed their swords in a well at the monastery that is now called the Well of Martyrs. Mm -hmm. 
This is a tourist attraction for many local and international people. And the Coptic Church has a collection of historical clothing and artifacts used by the Coptic Church through the centuries. And as before, murals tell many biblical stories from the Israeli history, beautifully hand-painted on the walls. Monastery consists of five churches, but the main church is called St. Bizoy, and that is where our guide is taking us next. You could say that this is the main attraction here at the monastery. Our guide is one of the priests here at the monastery and inside he shared about the history of the monastery and the legend surrounding this place. He also shared a lot of info about how the Coptic Church in Egypt works, especially here at the monastery. It is quite fascinating how different cultures interpret faith and the legacy given down through generations, in this case over many centuries. It adapts and changes as it is being influenced by events around it, like prosecution or worldviews. Yet the one thing that remains the same is the central focus of the amazing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for coming and thank you for visiting. The Agape Conference Center is not a long drive away from the monastery and it is welcomed by the whole group as we will be taking some time to relax and rest at the center. Join us again next time as we finally reach Alexandria and get to experience and taste the local treasures. 